issues among veterans is an increasing problem. Today, members of one group laced up their boots to raise awareness and support for our veterans. News Channel 12 star Connor caught up with them along the way. The march started in Maysville and ended up here at Union Point Park, where everyone that participated in today's march said that they were honored to support those veterans who are out there suffering. Oh, it makes me feel great to see these Americans here marching for the 22. Uh, most of them veterans, most of them Army, Navy. We have Air Force here. We have, uh, um, there's an old Army. Uh, there's a young lady who keeps grabbing the flag and running around, and she's just inspiring. There's a whole bunch of people here who just care to give more of themselves and uh, raise awareness for this wonderful cause. More than 250 participants walked 22 miles, some carrying 22 pound backpacks to represent the burden that some veterans experience. Most walking here today themselves members of the armed forces and veterans. Sergeant Major Jario Fernandez says this walk hits close to home for him. I think about friends that I've lost because of suicide. I think about uh, uh, brothers that I've lost in combat and in battle, um, uh, and uh, I, I think about you know people and their families, the families that are affected by those losses. Founder and organizer of the March for 22, Aiden Cologne, says continuing to do the walks each Veterans Day will help raise funds needed to combat veteran suicides in the area. Anybody will say one a day is too many. So, but 22 a day, that's, that's just outrageous. So if we can uh, raise funds that, uh, to, for programming to combat veteran suicide rates. Cologne sending a message to those out there who still may think they are alone. Uh, to my veteran brothers and sisters out there, this, is, this event is showing you that you are not alone, that this community is in the fight with you and we're gonna continue to fight with you. March for the 22 started back in 2020 with only 10 people. So far, the organization has been able to raise money for shelter, food, and employment resources for veterans in need. In Craven County, I'm Star Connor for News Channel 12.